Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Sagittarius. This is going to be your bonus love reading down below. I'll have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. The links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down there as well, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I do need at least two, three days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Okay, let's get started. Um, so basically, keep in mind, energies can be interchangeable, so if this isn't you, this can be them, if this isn't them, this can be you. Um, here is basically the person that's always on your mind, this is their feelings for you, and in my hand, in my hand is, um, like your background story with this person. Okay, so I have here, um... With this situation with this person, there is a lack of stability in the past, a lack of foundation, lack of stability, lack of foundation that somebody woke up to. Um, I feel like this is this could be you. Um, I feel like you woke up to, um, yeah, there's no stability with this person. Um, also, your intuition is really talking to you. Um, really talking to you. A lot of spiritual downloads when it comes to this situation. It led to your awakening. Uh, totally led to your awakening. You also realized, you realized that there's no stability in this situation and you're being called to learn what you can from being with this person. Learn all the lessons you can because um, you're being guided to cut them off to balance out the karmic scales. Um, yeah, you're being guided uh, to go into a different direction. Um, also, also, I feel like you want to speak your mind to this person. I feel like you want to speak your mind to this person um, emotionally. I feel like you want to air it all out. You're being guided to go into this new direction away from them, though. You're being guided to go away from this person. Um, yeah, you have the wheel here. This is um, the ending of a situation and good luck coming through for you. Um, I feel like you were stagnant when dealing with this person. And now you're getting unstuck and... Um, you're going to cut them off because um, it's time for you to balance the scales. It's time for you to balance the scales into your favor. I feel like they watch you do that. I feel like when you cut them off, um, this is how they're looking at it. They are looking at it like very fair. They understand. Um, the scales are balancing also in your favor. They see you spending a lot of quiet time alone in success. This is a lot of success, abundance. They're watching you become this butterfly. They're watching you become this butterfly. They're also watching you have like a spiritual awakening. They're watching you have this spiritual awakening. They're watching your intuition um, be lit up. Um, you're also like very enchanting um, whatever you got going on. You may be doing some glamour spells, whatever this is. They are, they are very attracted to you. Um, yeah, they're very sexually attracted to you. And they like that you make a lot of money. There's a lot of green in here. They see you as very abundant. They see you very successful. They see you. They see that your finances are on point. They see that you're working a lot. This is also working a lot. They do see you working a lot. They see you enjoying the fruits of your labor and spending a lot of quiet time alone. This is very good energy. I really like this. Like I said, it's like... um. You're very enchanting. Look at how this woman rises up out of the water. Very sexy. They definitely see that in you. Um, definitely see that in you. And they see you um, becoming very spiritual and rising up out of sadness. And they see you manifesting um, a lot of money. And, like, you're very attractive. Like, you're very attractive. And they're seeing this. They're seeing it. They feel it. They're, they're like, damn, I fucked up because this person did the work of two people. This person did the work of two people while I just got to sit there and watch. And they see that. And they see that you're just working um, really hard. It's like you're burying yourself in work. And um, they can't help but to reminisce about you and how you used to take care of them. Because you, you do so much work. Wow. <laughs> That was pretty straightforward. So, like, overall, overall, um, like, in the past, like, it's like you woke up to um, no stability. You realized that there is no stability. You had a wake-up call that, um, I feel like your intuition was trying to tell you for a long time. Um, but I feel like you must have had to, you must have asked for guidance. 
or some interference in your life and boy did they they come through they came through for you you had an awakening you had a major spiritual awakening from this situation that's also that is also what is balancing out the scales um because where there is where this caused you a lot of pain this also um this also jump started your healing journey this jump started your spiritual journey um really like that energy um so like overall yeah a cycle has totally ended and um they're watching you um come back from this they're watching you majorly heal they're watching you have some major growth they're watching um they're seriously watching you work a lot and looking damn good while you're doing it they're watching you become this butterfly they're watching you become the spiritual person um, they're watching you become the sexy spiritual person. <laughs> they're watching you, um, they're reminiscing about you because you used to, um, you used to do the work of two people. You used to do all the work. I feel like you used to take care of this person, you used to cater to them. You did the work of two people and, um, they, they miss that. They definitely miss you. Um, not sure if they miss you for the right reasons, but hey, <laughs> they do miss you. <laughs> Um, so, okay, I hope that was good for you guys. Um, uh, I know this was kind of short, but this was very straightforward. Um, so I hope that's good for you guys. I will catch you next week, okay? Bye.